what we've done is we've formed an event tonight and the intention is to spark a debate about fulfilment in the workplace in the UK and about what can be done about it. Around said UK, we've commissioned quite a large piece of research about fulfilment in the workplace in the UK. And the results are quite concerning. What the results indicate is that around about 10 million people in the UK have a serious issue with their fulfilment in their professional work lives. And unfortunately, this outcome isn't a one-off phenomenon. The research indicates that this is an ongoing problem we've had in the UK for some time. And also, it demonstrates that we are also lagging behind both our English-speaking competitors in the US, Australia, New Zealand, but also that we're lagging behind our key European competitors in countries such as France and Germany in the fulfilment at work. As a result of the research, we've got some recommendations to make, but in conjunction with that, we're also launching a new campaign called How I Became. What this centres on is real stories from real people who have achieved fulfilment in work. And so we've had them make small films that are in a central hub, which other people can view, and each film contains at least one piece of advice to other people about how they could achieve the change in their lives and achieve better fulfilment. Now I have the unenviable job of inter introducing someone who probably needs no introduction. Uh, Alan de Botton, best-selling author. Please take the stage, Alan. What really comes out of the report is that unless you're very careful or very lucky, you are heading for the wrong job. Unless you do something actively to change your destiny, you're, you're heading for, most likely, a period of lack of satisfaction in the workplace, which is really catastrophic. So my advice, what emerges from the, res the report is, you have to take your life in hand. It's not just a case of skilling up, it's also a case of working out what skills you need because you've got a sense of where you want to go in your life. I think where we want to go is frequently something that we don't really analyse with the sort of honesty and clarity we feel it actually should uh, deserve. You know, we, we tend to get a bit embarrassed about it. It seems a bit arrogant to go, what I want to be is. But actually, of course, that's what you should be thinking about. What do you want to be? So we shy away from that really simple, central, but of course very arduous question. An initiative like this is crucial because it shows a major a player in the employment world taking something very seriously which to date has not been and that is the psychology of how people end up in the jobs they end up in and when and where and why they are satisfied and we need in this employment world to move beyond just thinking have people got a job or have people not got a job we've got to move to thinking are they enjoying the job because it's only when people enjoy the job that they do it properly and we need an effective economy. We're not hauling coal anymore. We're using our brains. And when someone uses their brains, they have to feel engaged and happy. So happiness is not merely a luxury, the modern economy, it's a necessity.